All right, now that we've cleaned up our first sheet, we're ready to start creating our individual inventories for each card. You're going to come down here to the left to the plus sign, lower left-hand corner that says Add Sheet. You're going to click that, and it's going to add a sheet for you. Once it adds that sheet, if you will right-click, you can choose to rename, and we're going to name this first sheet Cart 1. All right, I'm going to go back to um, our first sheet which mine is named Example Chromebook Inventory. It has all the um, carts for all of my, um, for my site. I'm going to highlight, select um, that first row, the headers for the first row, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back to cart number one, my empty sheet. I'm going to click here, right click, and I'm going to paste so that I have those same headers. I'm going to add a couple of headings. First heading needs to be a date reassign. And the second heading needs to be reason reassign. And then I need to copy student ID, first name, middle name, and last name. I'm going to highlight them, copy them. I'm going to come over here, right click, and I'm going to paste them. And I know I was kind of cutting that off a little bit, but you can see um, it's copied all of my student information there. Okay, so now that I have all of my um, columns, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to click the one to highlight um, that entire row. And I'm just going to make sure that they're all bold and make sure that they're all 14 point font because I added those two new ones. Okay, so now that I have um, all of my columns as I need them, before I do anything else, I want to start duplicating this sheet because um, this is for cart one. And if I go back to my um, first sheet, you can see if I scroll down, you're looking at the cart numbers here. Um, this particular site that we're using as an example has like 25, 25 different carts. So that means that I'm actually going to need an individual inventory sheet for each cart. So right now I have cart one sheet set up. I need to go ahead and right, right click that sheet and I want to duplicate it. And it's just going to create a copy. It's going to have all the same headings and I'll just right click and rename that to cart number two. And so basically I'm just going to continue to duplicate and rename until I have um, all of the, um, the number of carts that I actually need for my individual site. You may have 10 carts, you may have 30 carts, however many you have, you want to create a tab for each one of those. Now that I've created that tab, I'm ready to start um, importing some of my inventory for each one. And since I've already sorted this by cart, I can come right here and go all the way down, and I see right here it changes from cart one to two. I only want cart one. So I'm going to highlight my data just for cart one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my sheet for cart one. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste it in there. And you'll see I only have cart number one. Now I know it's like really spread out right now, so we can redo how we auto fit the column widths. Um, so if you highlight all of it, and you look for that double-sided arrow again, double-click, um, it'll kind of shrink that down so it all fits rather than you having to keep scrolling all the way across. And so we're going to do this for each one of them because cart two, I don't have my information for that, so I'm going to come back here. Cart two starts right here, and it ends right here. And so that's the data that I need for cart two. Right-click, copy, cart two, right-click, paste, and then once again, I can uh, highlight all of my columns and auto-fit them to make it easier to view. And that's a double-click on the double-sided arrow is what does that. So you'll continue to do that until you have an individual sheet for each one of your cards.